What's going on? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. It's great. Great to see you. We're going to open power. It's going to be right. Right. Uh, it's in here somewhere. Hold on. Check in. Check in. Check in. No. It's not in here. Awkward. Well, that being the case, we are powerless. It's unfortunate. What if we take a Crucible of Worlds? What if we do that? How does everybody feel about that? You said good? Okay, we'll take a Crucible of Worlds. We'll start with a wild and crazy Crucible. Goldspan Dragon is a beautiful bean. Don't get me wrong. That seems correct. See, now there's nothing great for lands here. There's Exploration. Actually, Exploration's pretty good with Crucible. Usually you'll run out of lands in your hand. But if it's in the graveyard, Zoranor, deal. We're taking the Zorb. All right. We got the land deck going. Undreamt Tuna. Look who it is. It's the it's Undreamt Tuna. Really appreciate your support, old friend. Been watching on YouTube, had to get over and log in to, for Twitch the first time in a long time. To to I was like to through that sweet prime slot. What does that even mean? Oh, Uber. Uber, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. I just saw you. Well, old friend doesn't mean you're old. It means you're an, a long time friend. <laughs> That's, oh my God. Take it easy, Grandma. Okay. I don't know. Crucible Explorations Ernor feels like a good first three, but Wasteland. We also passed a Verdant and a Wooded. I'm wondering if we can get... I'm taking the Wasteland here. This is just too much. This is just too much value. This is too much value for one man. I'm hoping... I mean, the thing is, there's 10, there's 10 fetch lands, right? We passed two. And they could... The Wooded... The wooded could come back. It's probably not coming back. Could come back. It's probably not coming back. We'll never see it again. But wasteland is similar, right? Like it's a it's a it's a land that goes to the graveyard that you can keep replaying. They both fulfill the same role of like an infinitely replayable land. There's a stomper. Uh, there's also a cruel ultimatum. Who doesn't love that? Sacrifice a land. Target creature gains shroud. That's interesting. It's a way to sacrifice lands, which is good if we get Titania. Could also just take Stomping Ground, but I don't know if we're red. I'm gonna take the Safe Keeper. We'll we'll give it a shot. He's a new he's a new gentleman in this cube. Uh, nothing super landy here, but I do kind of like Knight of the Reliquary. Yeah, we'll take a knight here. God, we are so land deep here. Kadina, I did not see your resub, though. I don't know if it went through or not. Yeah, so far it's only been Uber and Undreamt Tuna today. Hmm. I do like an Endurance. I do like a Gary. Zerda could be interesting. Activated abilities cost two less. So this would actually net us mana. It costs negative two, so... Uh, I'm funny. Gosh, what a comedian. <laughs> I kind of like Garrick here. Yeah, let's just take Garrick. Gaia's Cradle. Oh, baby. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, we'll take a Gaia's Cradle. That's a late cradle. Hey! 
Thank you. Oh my God, Uber with <laughs> what, six gifted subs. Oh man, what a random number, but uh, dude, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Goldspan Dragon just tables. Sure. Fantastic. Oh, actually, Sarah Paragon might be the pick here. If we're white, thank you. green. I don't know if I want double red card. And Paragon lets us replay all of our lands, Crucible, Exploration. I actually think it's... Thank you. Yeah, it's, it looks like you're subbed. I didn't. I, I didn't see a renewal go through though. Um, I like a braid. A braid seems fine. Thank you. We could probably splash in a braid. Uber, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate you, my man. That is, you might say that's very Uber of you. Thank you. Seekers chariot and world spine worm. Interesting. What could World Spine Worm go with other than Flash? What's the natural order, maybe? I think Chariot's just the better creature. Well, we didn't get any of the fetches back, which is fine. Um, let's take the run. Eh, Voice of Resurgence, not unplayable. I'll take Birthing Pod, because we're not going to play the other gentleman. This man is on a comedic role today. I do what I can, you know? I'm just one man. Yeah, Uber, or, or Cutting, I don't think there's an issue. It's, it does say you're subbed. Like, you just meant that you had to sign, you just said that you had to sign in for the renewal, but, like, it looks like you weren't due to renew. Oh, uh, here's Ancestral Recall. It's weird that it's down here. Usually they're in order of rarity. See, even when you sort by rarity, it's after. Oh, I guess because it's a. This is not a special one. This is a regular. I mean, we're just taking, we're just taking ancestral here. Let's not be. Let's not be silly about it. This is an easy splash. I mean, we can take a. I'm not going to pass on ancestral, but if Renin Six comes back, we'll take it. But I mean, like, if I'm splashing for for a red Renin Six, I'm just going to splash for a blue ancestral instead, especially because we have neither of those two colors in here. Um, regrowth, kind of nice. Nothing else is really standing out to me. Talismans are not on color. Solitude's very, very good. It might just be solitude, actually. It's nice to have an answer. Yeah, we'll take a solitude. Regrowth might come back. Like, no one really loves recall, but I, I feel like it is kind of a good necessary evil in the queue where like it's just it's good it's really good when it's good oh reprieve is interesting force of vigor also pretty good um hmm. nothing that really fulfills my land fixation here I might just take reprieve force of vigor is nice yeah We're really looking for some some key components here that can put this deck over the top because it's not even, it's not it's not there yet. Yeah, I'll just take reprieve. I like reprieve. It feels better than like force. It, it's this is a card I'll always main deck where force of vigor might not might not be always that great. So cannon. I mean, Lion's Eye Diamond's neat, especially because we can discard lands and then replay them with, like, Crucible and Exploration. I don't think it's that, though. That doesn't feel good. Is it just Nyssa? I mean, Nyssa's nice, especially if we can get her out early with, like, Exploration. I'll take Nyssa. Um, hmm, okay. Not, not great. Yeah, Jace is good too. I, I I think Jace would have been fine. I'm not 100% on the blue. Um, I'm gonna take Copperline Gorge here. No, we're not. We're not red. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. 
or pretty much Bant. Might be just Frantic Search. Or, I mean, Arbor Elf, actually. Arbor Elf actually is probably fine. Let's just take the Arbor Elf. Windswept Heath is actually fantastic. Wow, that was a good pickup. Okay. That's that's very appreciated. Noble Hierarch is absolutely fantastic. Yep, let's take a Noble Hierarch. That's all three of the colors we want. I would love a land we can get with Windswept Heath that adds a blue. Like a Breeding Pool, Hollowed Fountain, or a... Uh, let me think. Spara's Headquarters. Nailed it. It's been a minute since I've been on Twitch, but I've been keeping up with you too. How? But how much of that Carto, 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 whatever did you, I only did like two drafts. Um, and I went 3-0 and 2-1 and it, it was fine. I feel like, and I mentioned this to Ryan Spain. I, I, I said that like, I think one week is not necessarily long enough for showcase cubes. I think it should be longer because a lot of showcase cubes have really, really intricate themes and they have a bunch of obscure cards like from commander sets that people just aren't super familiar with. So it really takes longer than a week to get your bearings in like a, in like a brand new cube. Like, and, and there's also sometimes if there's an event that weekend, like you leave, you're traveling from like Friday to Monday. So really you only have Wednesday, Thursday, and Tuesday to, to like play something like that. So it's like, it really should have two weeks to really like get all the nuance of a cube because I think cubes deserve that. I think they're delighted. Halfling seems good. You're tapping for colorless, except for like Thrun, Garrick, Nissa. But then again, we have a lot of colorless cards. We could also just take green sun Zenith. doesn't get many creatures for us though. Whereas delighted halfling. Oh, I wanted the halfling, but I took the Zenith. That's, that's nice. We just take Armageddon. I think we could be an Armageddon deck. I don't want to be. It doesn't doesn't sound right, but uh, regrowth came back just as we predicted. I will take it because it gets back ancestral, and when we open Time Walk in the next pack, it will it will also get back that or Black Lotus. I'm getting tired of these cards being taken that she didn't really take. What is that? Oh, you mean Green Sun. Yeah. 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 Oh, Lanowar Elf came back. So did Hornet Queen. That's fascinating. <laughs> Do you know the way I said fast? That's fascinating. Yeah, fascinating. Um, I think it's just Lanowar Elf here. I don't think we're going to have a hard time picking up... We already have 23 cards. We have to really make some, some directional choices here. It's funny. It works. No notes needed. What's going on right now? What are we ramping to, boss? We've got a Nissa. Thrun can probably go in the side. I think Thrun is a good card. I really do. I just think there are better options for the main deck. Mm, tithe taker, huh? Sure. Why not? Main seems sus. You're oh, you mean for Thrun. I thought you meant like our main. I was like, that's rude. Okay, the third pack's really gotta bring it all together. But this is a lot of playables for two packs.
Uh, well, land and relic order, I guess. Selfless spirit, I guess. Any Halloween spooky games planned? Uh, I do have some plans for some spooky streams, but they are magic related. So. Spooky. Oh yeah, take that. Uh they are magic related. I mean, we could also just um audible into a sweet green white aggro deck. We got the makings of it. Party Animals stream. I don't even know what that means. Is Party Animals a game? Does Kay like spooky movies or games? Not really. But she's not like opposed to them. She just doesn't like, it's not like a thing she just enjoys. We are sure waiting for the next booster. That's for sure. We sure are doing that. Okay, well, we were going to open a Black Lotus, but I guess they decided against that. That's weird. I thought we were going to open it for sure. I think it's just Prismatic Vista here. I mean, it's definitely a fetch. It helps with our exploration, with our Crucible. And it helps with Ancestral Recall. Because you, you, you can get an island. That's why. Uh, yeah, no, we, we already have. Come on, Alan, get it together. We have so many playables. We need more lands. I like Rex Sage. I like Mox Diamond, especially with Crucible. I like Primeval Titan. You guys ever say it like that? You ever say Titan? Primeval Titan. You guys say Prime Time? I think it's actually Mox Diamond. That's interesting. Yeah, I like Mox too. I think Mox goes really well with Crucible. Plus, I think there's a high chance of Primal Titan coming back because no one likes green. No one likes green cards. Come on. Get it together. Me and Stormrex are just not driving today. We're just not on the same wavelength, you know? Who plays green? That's what I'm saying. See, now we're on the same page. I, li I also like turtles. And that mox kind of looks like a turtle, does it? Oh, no. We're going to have to... Mm 
when did they add this new green color? It's a, it was it's it was a while ago, but not too far back. Oh. <laughs> You know what? You talk about no one likes green, and then you get like a fucking third pick Mox Emerald. That's that's pretty cool, I guess. So that's uh, you can everybody can have a Mox Emerald as a treat. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! Come on, dude. What? That's a sim. The universe is a simulation, right? This is all written. This is all scripted. This whole thing is scripted. We talk about how no one likes green, and then. The specific mox that I get third pick is a mox emerald. Not only should you not get a mox third pick, you also shouldn't. Uh, it was green. Like that's fine. It, you know, if if there's gonna be a mox that's gonna be go third pick, it's probably gonna be like red or or green, maybe, maybe, or white. I don't know. I don't know what the most pop. I, I know blue would probably be the most popular, followed by black in the in the cube. I think the remaining three are probably up for grabs, but nonetheless, like, come on, man. That's just funny. And there's nothing in here for us. That's that's a bummer. Sakura Tribelder gets an island. Stormworks always leaving in the middle of the draft. Unbelievable. This is too much. I guess it's fine, Sakura Tri Builder. It gets our blue source. I don't love it as a fourth pick, but I guess we'll just live with it. So about a week ago, Cyberpunk 2077 got their 2.0 update, which is like 54 gigabytes, which is nuts. And apparently today they just got a new 38 gigabyte update, the 2.01 update. So I'm wondering if it's, if the other one removes any, if this one removes any of the old files so that it's actually like smaller than 90 gigabytes. Cause that's kind of insane for an update. <sighs> okay. This pack is kind of rough. 54, 50, the first one was, let me see. Cyberpunk 2.0 size. Uh Oh, it's only, it was only 33 gigabytes, I guess. That's my mistake. I mean, I guess it's just Draga Tree Speaker here. This pack is Thank kind you. of mad. I like Treachery a lot and I think it's really sweet. I think it's Treachery. I mean, I know we're not double blue, in double blue territory here, but I think it's just considering that we already have noble hierarch and there's a Rafellos. Holy God. We are definitely going to have a lot of forests in our deck. I imagine, man, it feels like the, the stupid crucible, like we didn't get fast bond. We didn't get any, any draw sevens. Like it feels like we're just leaning into like a green deck that has no top end right now. This, this deck would start out really exciting in like the first four picks. Yeah, I like I like it too, but we're not red, and we have no way to splash for red, so I'm not gonna go into a fourth color. Uh, I, I agree with you; the card's great, but it's not. Yeah, I can't pass a Rafellos. There's a Kogla. That is a late fat idiot. Guardian Scalar is also really, really sweet. I, I'm a big fan of this card. I kind of think we have to go with Kogla here just so we have some top end. If Primeval Titan comes back, I would be very thrilled. I want to move all these to the sideboard for now. I mean, I am actually kind of glad we took Green Sun Zenith because I would like a way to get, like, I guess, Kogla. 
<laughs> I mean, I'm really crossing my fingers for that Primeval Titan. I believe this is the last pack, right? 24 and 13. That's thir Yeah, it's 37. So this is our 38th pick. I mean, I like Inferno Titan, but we're not red in any way, shape, or form. Terra Sunder's fine, except for the fact it's not... We're not going to be able to kick it. I don't think it's survival. It might just be scavenging use for the sideboard. Not exciting, but... Oh, uh, Sun Titan is actually pretty sweet here. We could be Sun Titaning. We have like literally no lands. We we found no lands that actually get searched for with Windswept Teeth or uh, I guess just Windswept Teeth. Path to Exile, not terrible either. Tell him the audio sounds great. Fantastic. That's good to hear. Tell him I said thank you. Um, yeah, I'll just, oh, I guess we took Sun Titan, which is good. I mean, it's what I wanted. Oh, Rex Sage. I'll take a Rex Sage. Also an Elspeth. Hmm. I like Rex Sage because we can actually search for it as well. And we don't actually have access to this, this effect. Yeah. I don't know, man. It feels like we actually have to give up on the, the land. Like we really have nothing going for us. We have one fetch land, one wasteland, one prismatic vista, and that's it. I mean, exploration is kind of bunk if we do that. Zurin Orb doesn't do much. Crucible doesn't do much. And like this could be the deck, I guess. I don't, I don't love it. I, I definitely don't love it, but I don't hate it. So, I mean, this guy's just a five three that makes a four four. Sure. Oh yeah, we can get rid of Armageddon, I guess. Yeah, this is kind of sad. I mean, I feel like we literally started with one of the best possible openings. I mean, we still have a Mox. We still have a Mox Diamond. We still have Prismatic Vista, Gaia's Cradle. I mean, we were really hoping for like Fast Bond, Upheaval, uh, any draw sevens that we can take advantage of with Fast Bond. Uh, Titania would have been amazing because then we can sack all our lands to Zerno or, or Sylvan Safekeeper. Armageddon would have been amazing. Like I, there was a, there was quite a few cards that really would have made this deck uh, take off. Seachrome Coast is actually a pretty decently late pickup there. It lets us cast our blue spells a little easier. We should still have like ten forests for for Rafelos. Oh, I'll take a resto. Sure. That's actually really nice. Unfortunately, it does not work with Workshop War Chief. This is one of the bad interactions here. Like, I, I like this card a lot. I think it's super cool. I do think it's worse than Thrag Tusk because, oh, wow, that's a late Metamorph and completely playable. Um, I do think it's worse than Thrag Tusk because Thrag Tusk gives you a 3-3 every time it leaves the battlefield. Whether you bounce it, whether you blink it, whether it dies, whether it gets exiled. Uh, work cheap, workshop war chief only gives you the token when it dies. So very specific. Uh, if they go path to exile, you don't get the token. If they upheaval, you don't get the token. You know, it's, it, that, that makes it worse to me. I don't think the blitz cost for six is really worth it. Okay. So we have, yeah, nothing else is really standing out to me. I can play all of this. I'm probably not playing Wasteland in three colors. Um, I don't think I care about Sylvan Safekeeper. I don't, also don't think I care about Voice of Resurgence. Actually, it could be good. I actually don't know how good Voice of Resurgence is. Hold on.
Oh, I mean, one more cut. One. I can actually see cutting Knight of the Reliquary. It's not that great when you don't have the lands. And this can go here. And actually, this is pretty fine. Oh, what up, Cabalan? Yeah, actually, I think this is this is decent. Uh, is it great? I don't know. Is it decent? I'll, I'll stick with decent. I also do kind of want to mox Emerald as a as a card in the deck and not as a land. Hmm. I said Mox. Did I say Mox Emerald? I meant Mox Diamond. Um. Is it just Reprieve? I don't know. Reprieve's pretty good. You ever cast Remand before? Okay, let's sort by color. Treachery might be greedy with double blue, but I don't care. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, seventeen. Uh, how many white sources is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Mana base is, is pretty rough, not gonna lie. It might be treachery. Cause then we can cut down on a blue. Add another green. Did we get the Lighted Halfling? No, we got Green Sun Zenith, didn't we? Interesting. Actually, Mox Diamond helps with the blue. We have one, two, three, four, plus Tribe Elder is five. Unfortunately, Arbor Elf also does not make a double blue in any, in any situation. We just don't have like a breeding pool. Yeah, this is probably correct. 16 lands, Mox Emerald, Mox Diamond. I don't have high hopes for this deck, unfortunately. Is Thrun better than Workshop Warchief? I don't know. Probably? Well, there's no red in our deck, so it's definitely not Naya. Um... Can't be target of non yeah like. I think the run has to be better than than workshop war chief right. Sammy, here is the run for you. Can't be countered. Trample, 5-5 five, five for 5. Can't be the target of non-green spells your opponents control or abilities from non-green sources your opponent can, opponents control. And if it's your turn, he is indestructible. Like, that seems better than this guy. I mean, this guy makes a 4-4 four, four if he dies, but the run just doesn't want to die. The other one was Workshop Warchief. Basically a, a Thrag Tusk. Uh, five mana for a 5-3. When he enters the battlefield, you gain three life. When he dies, you make a 4-4. Four, four. And you can Blitz him. Which means you can like put him into play with haste, but then you sack him at the end of the turn. And then when he dies, you draw a card. And you sack him at the beginning of the next end step. So it's it's it, Blitz is kind of convoluted. Sammy's like, I'll just read it. <laughs> uh, are we going to find an opponent? What's going on? What's the dealio, as the kids sadly say? Try
trying to get this battery out of here as our game is starting. There it is. Oh dear. Now I have to pick it up before a pet eats it. They probably wouldn't, but it ain't risking. It ain't worth risking a little battery, you know? Okay. Double planes. I think we have two in the deck. Maybe we have three. So we got 66% of the planes and zero green sources. So we're going to mulligan. Fantastic. Still no green sources. I'll keep it because of Ancestral. I think we'll ship Solitude. Boy, what a... All right. Got a huge fan. That means we are going to get crushed. Do one of these jobbies. Hopefully we hit a green source. It'll be a Mox Diamond and no other lands. Ready? You ready for the sweet simulation? Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's A-OK. -okay. Oh, that guy's good. Oh, a Rafelos. Look at that. We demulliganed. We don't even have to discard. Beautiful. I will block... Give me that give me that other give me that other forest. Give me that forest. Oh well, don't like that. So I think we just green sun for Rex Age. Hmm. Fascinating. We could also just play Sarah Paragon. We block, they use their two counters, they kill the Sarah Paragon. What does it say? Whenever it deals damage, they surveil, then you return a land from your river to the battlefield tapped. So they're definitely getting a delta back. Yeah, we just have to get rid of that. Plus, we can just block here and get it back with Sarah Paragon if we want to. Oh, that's sad. Eh, it's not terrible, I guess. Sure. They will get their polluted Delta. Thank you. Oh, Abydus Gaming. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. Even though you mistakenly thought our deck was Naya. I'll let it slide. I'll forgive you. <sighs> Sun Titan seems really good in this deck. Um, oh, that's an Ancestral Recall number dose. So, I think we just go land... Gary. Make a beast, perhaps? Yeah, I think we want a beast. It's the biggest creature in our hand. This only copies artifacts and creatures. Make a 3-3, three, three, sure. I mean, fingers crossed they just don't have another removal spell, you know? Because if we do, they lose the beast and the Garrick. And that's no good. And Shriek Maw. Oh, okay. That's fine. 
Not great, but fine. Oh, that's very good. That's less than fine now. I am not thrilled with how this is playing out. If you have a fatal push, I'll cry. Okay, that's that's okay. It was him who took our guy. Well, we never you never know because you might not be drafting against the same person that's in your pod. Or might not be playing against the same person, rather. What do we have to get rid of you? We have Solitude, but I believe it's still on the bottom of our... No, we, we Green Sun Zenith. So there is a Solitude somewhere. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We have eight mana. We could regrowth Ancestral, play Ancestral, still have five left. That feels correct. Oh, Reprieve. Okay, well, you don't do much. Hmm. Well, I guess we're just getting a land now. Copying Titanium, keeping Reprieve up, perhaps? Hmm. Yeah, let's do this now so that they can't, like, respond to it. But I guess there's no way to respond to that, really. We play to land. Yeah, we'll just keep Reprieve up. It might have actually been better to save it because now they can use it with their... They can target it with their Liliana, but... Or their, their Vraska, rather, but... I mean, if they do that, they lose Vraska, which I think is fine. I think Reprieve is going to feel like Time Walk here. Also, Sun Titan being able to get back Windswept Heath repeatedly is pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So right now we have eight mana. Ten if Garrick survives, which is a lot. Eleven if we get back Windswept Heath. Sure. I mean, the question is, do we just let them draw two, or do we let them kill Garrick? <sighs> I think we block here. It doesn't feel great, but... Yeah, that's not great, but I mean, I think our Garrick is actually a little more useful. Oh my god, that emote is hilarious. I really need some animated emotes. <coughs> Grist. Well, I don't like that. But they did already play a land, so that's good. Sure, that's fine. Yep. Hmm. Are they sacking the six two to draw two? That would be insane. Oh, they're just sacking a land to make another. That's pretty good. That's really solid. Nissa. 
forest. I see. Let's pop out the graveyards here. We got a lot of graveyard interaction that could be taking place here. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, leaves us with two, hmm, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I would love to play Paragon and kill the Skull Clamp. Maybe that's correct. They're going to play Grist next turn, which is not fun. So I feel like they're going to kill our Titania with their Grist. I guess we can leave another turn with this, right? One, two... But that we still can't. Yeah, we yeah, that seems fine. Five, six. This guy. Get back windswept teeth. I mean it's another five three. I think that's pretty good. Let's get another white source here. We have a lot of green sources. Untap. Green and white. You can play Sarah Paragon and then not play anything else. I think I actually like Rafelos and Tithe Taker here. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they're probably going to take Sarah Paragon. They can take it with Concealing Curtains. Sammy, when they show the two cards in MTG Bot, you can actually just press the number and it'll show you the card from that number. So you don't have to like retype the name. You can just hit two. Just figure that might make it a little easier for you. Yeah, but you can still hit two. You can still enter two in the chat, right? <laughs> that doesn't change anything. God, my kingdom for a 1-1, one, one, dude. Um, So you're going at Gary. Which is interesting. Grist might kill Garrick, actually. Thank you! I think we're blocking again. This way we have a 1-1 one, one flyer, and if Grist tries to kill Garrick... Then we can kill Grist. Plus, getting rid of five threes is just fine. Shua Garner, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate you, my dude. I still have not found those Doritos that looked amazing. The pineapple Doritos. So that's been... I've looked literally everywhere. I've looked at multiple Walmarts, looked at Target, looked at the Maverick. <laughs> that's right near our house. I don't think, I don't think they exist. Oh, you're just going to kill that guy. Okay. Oh, cool, they're gone. That's fantastic. I'm really glad I got to experience them while they were <laughs> here. Yep. Killing Sun Titan, obviously, right? Yeah. And they get to Concealing Curtains and get rid of our Sarah Paragon. This is a good turn for them. But Garrick lives? Oh, and they're not going to Concealing Curtains. What? Ooh, that seems suspect thank you neon tokyo with the gifted subs oh man you guys are amazing i love you guys i love you guys um thank you so how much damage do we deal here if we ultimate what is this 5 10 15 17 thank 37 you. i think we just win if we ultimate right am i crazy Thank you. I we. I don't. Thank you. I don't know. 
15, 17. And then we add t 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. No, we, no I, I did math wrong. <clears throat> so 5, 10, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's 1, 2, 3, 8, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 29. So as long as they can block 10. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, they just, no, they just died. This is Xaxes, I think. Unless I'm doing math terribly wrong, or they have, like, fatal push. Oh, they can make they can make infinite guys because of Sylvan Save Keeper. That's fascinating. Uh, attack you. Yeah, that's 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 the trick. But we're still gonna go. We're still gonna go for it. Like if you want to trade a bunch of lands for that, that's fine. Yeah, Sylvan Save Keeper was definitely the the clutch play there. Man, Titania OP. T T Titania is really sweet. I added her to my queue after I saw it in this queue. Yep, here we go. Yeah, this is rough. Yeah, I just missed Sylvan Safekeeper as a... I missed Sylvan Safekeeper as a sacrifice outlet before we attacked, but after we sacrificed to Garrick, and I still just wanted to go through with it because I don't think we're going to win when they have Sylvan Safekeeper on board. Like, when they can just make one, two, three, six, six, five threes. <laughs> like, we're just not going to power through that. They're doing they're probably doing math right now and figuring out how many creatures they have to sacrifice. Like I'm kind of wondering if we should have played Sarah Paragon to get Windswept Heath back before we attacked in order to sacrifice it. Like, I don't think so, because it's not super impressive. I mean, they're not gonna have any lands, <laughs> so that's something, I guess. But they're also going to just be able to survive and block four of these guys and then probably kill us. Oh, we're just going to go to the next. This is all very fascinating. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to end. I'm pretty sure we lost, but they had a pretty good game and I'm not sure if we did. So, like, maybe this is the best that we were expected to do. Yeah, we're now in the blocker stage. All right, 6-2. So you take six. Maybe they forget trample. <laughs> CR 2032s. And we're also going to kill a lot of their a lot of their elementals. So this is actually not a terrible trade for us. Yep. Assign blockers is fine. And then Rafelos even lives? That's kind of cool. Yep, three, three, two, three, three, two, two and six. They're at four. That's fascinating. So we can get back Tithe Taker, Rex Sage, Tribelder doesn't do much. I kind of just want to get rid of the Skull Clamp here, but like I really feel like they've <laughs> they've gotten their fill of of card drawing. They're at seven cards. I mean, Tithe Taker actually puts us in a position where like I guess they can sack the last two lands. I don't think they're gonna do that. Wait, does Tithe Taker make us a 1-1? One, one? When this creature dies and... Oh, when this is put into a graveyard. So it still dies. It just gets exiled as well. So that's pretty cool. Alright. Well, this is what we got. 
Yeah, Sarah Paragon is not a replacement effect. It doesn't say if this creature would die, exile it instead. It says when it dies. Or when it's put into a graveyard, exile it and you gain two life. So it does still get put into the graveyard. Skull Clamp is a messed up magic card. But I feel like we're in an okay spot here, to be honest. We have lethal on board. Well, no, not yet. We have three on board. <laughs> if they play Mana Crypt, we could be in good shape, you know? I like to dream. Well, they can't use negative... This is negative three, and they already used their plus one on Grist this turn. <clears throat> so... Recurring Nightmare. What do you have in here? You only have Troll, Deep Root, Wayfinder, and Devoted Druid. Okay, that's not... That's not too scary. You're getting rid of the curtains to get troll back. That's totally fine. I think I second another. They're second the skull clamp to gain a life and draw a card. Interesting. This is all very fascinating. I feel like we're actually doing okay here, to be honest with you. I didn't expect it, but come on, something good. Nissa, Nissa, one time. A Sika's chariot. <clears throat> well, isn't that interesting? Well, they have no enchantments or artifacts. We can kill Grist, which I think we kind of have to do here. Having Kogla in the graveyard when, when you have Recurring Nightmare in hand is pretty good. I don't think we're actually doing as good as I wanted to be. Hmm. So two of the things we can get back... <laughs> Uh, we'll put them to two. Is there any benefit to putting them to two? Probably not. Mm. Oh, they can't actually. Oh, I was like, they can't cast. They can't cast Kogla. They will be at two. That is a good point. Can you recurring nightmare and get a grist back? I wonder. As long as grist isn't on the battlefield, it's an insect creature. Yeah, it's a one one. Um, God, I wish Frexian Metamorph was uh, was able to be gotten back with this. <sighs> I just feel like we have to leave this in here. I think we just get Tri Builder. It blocks, it gains us two life. Sure. It gets us a land. 
if we have any more one two three four five six seven i don't think we have any more basics in our deck <laughs> so that's a bummer this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen there are four more mana sources in our deck um one is a mox emerald one is a prismatic vista which is a blank I might have gone up to seven forests. Yep. I mean, they're going to have to get Kogel back and kill Sarah Paragon, right? Like, that's just the, the best possible play you can make here. Yeah. Sad. Very sad. I mean, if we draw Nissa, we just win the game. <clears throat> Man, they just keep sacking things. Like, I don't know, actually know if we sacked Sakura Tribe Builder here. I, I don't know if we have a forest, and if we don't, we're just gaining two. But we need the body on the board for if we draw Nyssa. Yeah, they gotta get in there eventually, and this is probably fine to do. Come on, Nyssa, one time. One in 15 chance. Was that like 6%? That's close to Anissa, but not really. Ugh, goodness gracious. <laughs> that's that's kind of sad. Uh, Alright, well, we're going to go 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... I don't know. How, I don't know what our biggest creature is, to be honest. I think it's actually, like, nothing humongous. So we're just going to go for nine and see what happens. It's going to be like a Thrun. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Oh, Kogla. Oh, Kogla. Oh, interesting. Kogla kill Kogla. And then we can bounce this guy. Yeah, okay. Oh, we have two forests left. That's also good to know. Oh, man, this Shroud gentleman is really obnoxious. So my guy's probably getting indestructible. Their guy's probably getting Shroud. Oh, boy. I mean, they only have so many lands. Like, <laughs> Sure. And they bounce. All right. So replay Tithe Taker. <clears throat> This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands. Okay. Well, it's something. Man, Sylvan Safekeeper actually being really relevant here. This game also taking very, very long. We have more time on the clock. Not by much, but... Uh, why no attack with... You mean this? Be because they have a 7-6. and a... Like, they just block. <laughs> this doesn't have flying. This is just a 4-4. Four -four. This isn't like Sky, Sky Sovereign or whatever.
Let me guess. Woodfall Primus. Oh, wow. Oh, I guess I have card size at the largest. That's pretty funny. I mean, it makes a 2-2, two -two, but I mean, I'm not going to throw away a 4-4 four -four to make an extra 2-2, two -two, right? That doesn't make any sense. You make a copy of a token. So, like, I'm not just going to... Well, it makes no sense to throw away a 4-4 four -four just so it can... Toxic Deluge for two. Why not? <clears throat> Got nothing better to do. So Kogla kills this guy. We take four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12. I think we're dead here. So that's a bummer. Even after gaining the life. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's pretty bad. All right. You got it. Scavenging ooze seems incredible. Sylvan Safekeeper just blew my mind. <sighs> Karmic would be great if it hit their graveyard. We don't really have a very impressive graveyard. They're not really doing much on our turn, so we can get rid of voice. I'll just play 41, to be honest with you. Man, if we hit if we hit Nissa in any like four or four or five turns, like we probably would have been probably would have been way over. I will play first. Oh yeah, this is fantastic. Look at this beautiful hand. All right, we have a minute and a half on time, so that's good. This is a turn two Sarah Paragon. That's pretty good. Oh, I, I like that better, actually. Protecting the Sarah Paragon until you can actually activate it is nice. Also, we get to keep up Reprieve. Oh, we just won the game. All right. <laughs> okay. Game three. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this guy, too. This seems great. This is a turn three Asika's Chariot, which is not as good, but still pretty good. Tithe Taker. Hmm. That guy's obnoxious. Less so without... Um, a land in the graveyard. They're going to go Pluto Delta, crack it. Deep Root Wayfinder, you ready? <clears throat> we saw one fetch land, they're going to have it. Yeah, it may, they may have been like, we, we're not going to win this game and we have less time, so we'll just go to game three where we have a better chance. No blocks.
Oh god, that's an, that's annoying. Actually, it's not that bad. Oh, they're not going to kill my Rafellos? Wow. That's great. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can actually go seek his chariot. One, two, three, four. Chariot. Planes. Yeah, that seems good. This is artifact. This is a creature of Planeswalker, right? Yeah, that seems good. God, I can't believe we're in game one still. This is wild. Four years later. Sack and a creature. Who are you getting rid of? Your insect? Okay. And then you do destroy a creature or planes. Oh, you're targeting her fellows. That's fine. Damage is done, man. You gave me a tad. No, that's fine. Hmm, no attacks. Okay. Oh, a little Solly. I do need another white source, though. Let's get let's get Grist out of here if we can. Uh, Mega token of a guy. Is it is it? Oh, it does have to be you control. Just making sure. Hello, my dear. <clears throat> no blocks. We just get to kill that guy. Wow, that seems good. One, two, three, four, five. If I had six mana, I might be consider. I might consider getting Rafellos back. Right now, I'm just keeping Reprieve up. I was a deer once. Prove it. Prove it to me that you were a deer. I'll believe it when I see it. Hmm. Fair. This is whenever it deals combat damage, right? They have no lands. I'm tempted to just block with a token, but not really. Eh, I'll just take it. You can surveil and maybe hit a land. Maybe not. That is not a land. So you basically got nothing, which is totally fine. Especially if we get to reprieve your next spell. Ooh, it's a good one. Oh, it's a real good one. Oh, this is great. It's not countering it. It's just returning it to the hand. <laughs> oh, and then we get to regrowth again. Oh, that's pretty cool. This crew is four. That's a lot. So we'll play this guy. Actually, maybe we should have. There we go. Reprieve. One, two, and then one, two. Yeah, we'll just play. We'll just attack with everybody here. Second white here would be nice. I would appreciate it. Oh yeah, we're we're gonna be reprieving all day. Also, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we draw Nissa, we win. <coughs> oh, we just win. All right, good games. All right. Man, I didn't see that one coming. All right. <clears throat> Let's see if we can win another round. Or if we're headed for the dreaded one, too. Hmm. 
not great, but I don't think it's terrible. We can get a white with a vista, which does, oh, that's good. Oh, you're doing very good. You're doing very well for yourself. And Renin six. Okie dokie, that's a good start. Hmm. I will play a forest. Hmm. Beat that, buddy. Seems good. A lot of things happening. We have a, we have two moxes in our deck. I wonder if we'll ever draw one. It's, it's not looking good. <clears throat> it's not looking good. Uh huh. I suppose I'll play a prismatic vista, and we can get an island here. That should solve our color issues. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not sure I actually have a great answer for a turn one Renin six that starts plussing. Doesn't feel good. <clears throat> Fantastic. We're going to go to the next game. Uh, this is going to ultimate in like two turns and we just can't get anything on the board to do anything about that. And we've drawn literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands and three spells. So... Another game where I think scavenging is just probably better than Voice of Resurgence. I mean, fingers crossed we can get some sort of start here. This is good. A Mox would be nice because then we can refill us on turn one, but you know what? I'll take it. Uh, have you given any thought about joining Luis's 4v4? I mean, it's not really... I don't... Just thinking about it doesn't let me do it, though. You know, I actually, I feel like I kind of have to be invited to that. I don't know how to do that, so. And I just don't like inviting myself to things. Like, if someone wants to invite me, that's totally fine. But I'm not going to be like, hey, can I join your thing? Like, that just feels weird to me. So it's not like, it's not a situation where I can just, like, give thought to it and then, like, do it. So... We're going to play our fellows here. I don't think we're cracking this yet because we might need double white gets us another green. So he had an open invite to me. Wow. I'd love that. <laughs> that would be amazing. Can If you could link me to that, that would be phenomenal. So we got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, four. This is five mana if we get a forest here. But I'd rather play Sarah Parrot. And then we could play Garrick, untap two, and then we have three left. Is that exciting? Or we can make four. Yeah, we're just going to go. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go get an, a planes. Go white, white, white. This. Play Sarah Paragon. Play Vista. And then we have a, another green source here. So that seems pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, I was literally thinking of playing Scavenging Ooze and just uh, playing Garrick, untapping three, playing Scavenging Ooze, and then keeping it up so they wouldn't get their mountain back. Oh, they're just going to kill my Rafelos. Fascinating. 
I guess that's good. Oh, they have their owner, fellas. Look at that. They wanted to prevent the legend rule from taking effect. I mean, don't we get to just... <clears throat> I'm going to crack this now. Just get another forest here. I don't think it makes a difference, really, but... I mean, we will kill your <laughs> Ren and Six for sure. <clears throat> All right, what's the best thing we can do here? We have five mana. We can play Garrick and get back Rafellos. Can't Kogla. I think it's probably best to have our own Rafellos. Really? This doesn't... Eight... Is this 13? Fascinating. I mean, I think we just take this. And we get to keep our... Yeah, I'll just go to seven here. This is fascinating. They have two cards in hand? All right, that's not terrible for us. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 mana. So we can actually play both of these. That seems good. So I think we want to kill the Rafellos. I don't think I care about the 5-5. Five five. The Rafellos actually gives them a significant amount of mana. I mean, if they have a clone and they copy Crater Hoof, then we're in bad shape, obviously. But I... <clears throat> Like, that would be surprising to me, I guess. Okay, that's not it. Okay, that's fine. Yep. So they have one land. I think they're just dead here from, from our Garrick. Oh, yeah. We, we done. We done got it. I didn't even do the math. You can figure it out. <clears throat> I mean, what is this? 10, <clears throat> 18, 24, uh, 29, 32. Yeah. All right. Garrick is a hell of a drug. All right. So I, I guess we're doing okay with this deck so far. I don't think it's that great, unfortunately, but... Here we are. Uh, yeah, we'll just submit like this.
I mean, if we can get any other any number of moxes or mana acceleration in the beginning, it's it seems like we have a better, much better chance than than if we don't do that. So, okay, I will consider noble hierarch that. <clears throat> Tithe Taker. Fingers crossed for a signet from them. That's what we're looking for. Bird of Paradise. Fascinating. With no second land, huh? This is a very interesting keep from our opponent. So we have four mana. I think we just green Sun Zenith for something. Maybe it's a Rafellos. I mean, I don't think our threes. Eh, we'll see. Maybe we got something in there. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's just Rafellos here. That's fine. <clears throat> oh, I guess we could have played Rafellos and Arbor Elf. Smart. If I just had a better grasp of what's in my deck. I wasn't. Alright, you got two. You got four total mana. I'm very, very fascinated at what's going on here. Keeping a one-lander is... A one-lander that comes and play tapped is very suspect. I'm very, very curious as to what they're casting here. Mana Vault, okay. That's that's fine because it gets rid of the red, which means we probably get to keep most of our creatures. Mm-hmm. Just make a beast? I don't understand. You untapped one of them. <laughs> that's great. Thank you. Okay, another green. Alright, still still doing good with the greens. Sure. Cradle. If only we had more ways to take advantage of of all this mana. Let's get rid of Gary. Or, you know, attack Gary. Really? I was not expecting that. All right, well, this is our, this is what we got here. <clears throat> so they're going to take one from this for quite a while, I imagine. Sure. Sure. It's a lot of things here. Where are the good cards in our deck? Tell me where they are.
I mean, we can go Garrick and Renin Six, but they still get to shoot one more thing, which I don't love. I think I'd rather just take care of Renin Six now. I mean, this is a sad situation where we have a ton of resources, but no real great ways to take advantage of them. And I'm definitely not killing their mana vault, that's for sure. So. I mean, this is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. <clears throat> Do they take out all the lands in their deck? I don't understand how we're on like turn six and they've hit one land. That's fine. <laughs> yep. Make another Beasto. All right, so now we can kill the Garrick as well. Beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely. Just gorgeous. All right. Well, at least we're getting to eat a bunch of planeswalkers. We're going to play with planes because we want to make sure we hit our land drops here. Man, Noble Hierarch Exalted really doing a number on this, uh, on this opponent, unfortunately. Yep, that's fine. I'm sure we'll draw a twisted image for that. Oh, or a fellows of your own with zero forests. <laughs> you know what? You got a lot of guys here. Oh, well, that's fascinating. That could be interesting. I think we just attack for f with both of these, but then they can attack back. Is that good? What do they do? They just block with like two, three, threes. It's indestructible, so I don't really care. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, they're just taking six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> I mean, with their with their mana situation, reprieve is almost like absolutely disgusting. Are they gonna untap this? One, two, three. N what? No. Okay. I mean, this is. This could literally just kill them. Their mana vault could just kill them. Okay, I guess it does. I don't know what's going on with these matches, man, but you know what? Even if we 2-1, I'll take it. So. Abdidas, did you, did you end up, uh, did you know, do you know where they, he might have said that? Because if he, if he, if he's definitely said that, I'll definitely reach out to him and be like, hey, how can I, draft with you guys We are Cuban. Correct. All right. Playing first. I'll keep this. Turn one Noble Hierarch is like a Mox, right? Plus, if they play anything broken, we can just Reclamation Sage it, obviously. There's no way they'll kill our, our Noble Hierarch. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's going down. It is no longer going down. I I should have uh Yeah. Should have held my tongue. Should have known better. Yes. You fool. Mm. 
Doretti Spaghetti. Sure, make a little one one. So I think I want a white here. Um, our odds of getting green are pretty high. We also have Cradle here. I actually can't tell if they have any blue in their deck or if it's literally just a mox for the sake of being a mox. Hmm. That was fascinating. A plains. And nothing else. Interesting. I think we're just zenithing here for a Raffellos. Actually, I wonder if Voice of Resurgence is a good choice here. Hmm. Like, I feel like with four cards in their hand and they didn't play anything, it's very easy for them to kill a Raffellos. Yeah, let's try green. Let's try Voice of Resurgence and see if it does anything. I don't know if it will. Barry Garbanzo told me you're welcome to dinner at the Bean Fest tonight. <laughs> if you can provide me video evidence of that, I would really appreciate it. A bayou. Okay, so we've we've seen five all five colors here, so no one knows anything of what to expect, basically. Yep, you got it. You have gotten it. Barry is pretty private, that's true. Let's hit that Minskin Boo. I doubt we're going to be able to do it. I bet they'll block with their creature that has Defender. Oh, they did. Dang it, they're good at this game. All right. Old Thrunathy. Uh, Minsk and Boo are from Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, wow. R -r Rabble Master. R -r Rabble Master. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just going to block here. Oh, this is actually very good because they can sack Minsk and Boo to kill our throne because it is a green source. Yeah, I actually overlooked that. I didn't realize. Hmm. 
That is unfortunate. I think they're probably looking at it now to see if they can do it. And they're like, I think I can. Oh, what up, Stormrix? Welcome back. Welcome back to the post the post leave work draft. I think they're figuring it out. They're like, hold on. Hold on. The gears are turning. I mean, they also could have put just three more counters on this guy, too, so I don't even understand what's going on. Ah. <sighs> Hey, look at that. They figured it out. Yep, good for them. Congratulations. It only took 20 minutes. <laughs> and you have doctor in your name. Well, that's something. All right. So very tempted to just play Nissa here. Nope. We have to play her for six. Well, let's make a six six. This kills Planeswalkers, too. Oh, Artifact's great. I guess they could sack... Really? Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. That's not what I was expecting. I mean, they can sack Construct, kill our 6 6, and then attack Nissa, but I mean, we get to block. Or Nissa just takes four. Well, we are currently 2 0 in this draft, so not terribly. I was not expecting it, but here we are. It has taken. An hour and 45 minutes so far. Okay, so they killed our... Yep, that seems fine. That's what we were expecting. They also have seven cards, so... You know, the odds that we're winning this with one regrowth in hand is fairly low. It's not really worth losing a body here um, to prevent one damage to Nyssa. Sure. Let me guess. Cauldra complete? <laughs> uh, never fails. I would love for it to fail sometimes, but... No. Necromancy on Goblin Rabble Master? No, Thrun. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep, that's probably where I... I guess, like... Well, yeah, we're just trying Sea Chrome Coast. Like, I mean, I guess if I was, like... I wonder if we board Wasteland in. I 
Like they're like five color nonsense over here. I mean, the land destruction package is literally one wasteland and Armageddon, unfortunately. It's not great. We could bring in Crucible, though. I mean, Solitude actually doesn't even seem that great against them. Like, all their creatures are Planeswalkers that we saw. Yeah, I think we're good like this. We also have Sun Titan and Sarah Paragon. There it is. So next time we can go Arbor into Wasteland. If they play a Triome, it's going to be... Yeah, it's fine. Montesica's Chariot one time. Forest. Equally as powerful. All right. Come on, Thrun. Or a Sika's Chariot. Well, a Rexage is pretty bad against Cauldre Complete. That's, uh, it's not great. Ancestral Recall is pretty bad against, um, no, no islands. We have like this awkward hand that's just not good against anything they're doing. And we didn't even cut a white source. We cut a forest, right? So. Wait, really? This was your choice instead of cauldron complete? Fascinating. I was terrified of Cauldre Complete. Yep, no white sources, no blue sources is pretty rough. I mean, I don't know. I feel lucky that we were able to get this far, but I also feel like we got some pretty shit draws in these past two games, so... There it is. There's your boy. Man, can you imagine a Toxic Deluge here for one? <laughs> yeah. Dude, our opponent who's, who's, who's not even playing blue cards has more blue mana sources than we do. Yep, great. Yeah, sack a goblin, kill my Rex Sage, and then you can attack with everybody. Wonderful. Yep. Is there anything we can even draw here? <laughs> Fucking amazing. Thanks for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you want to support the channel and... Uh you know, assuage some of this misery that is, that has occurred in the last round, but, uh, still appreciate you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.